Hey, hey. Ooh, I can't see if we're live. Um, <laughs> How do we know? We're live on Instagram. <laughs> hey, over there. Oh, we're not live. We're waiting for it to go live oh. over here. <laughs> All righty. Now, now we're live. All righty. Now we're live. We're doing something new today. So we'll wait for a few people to join us. Well, where do the comments come on? I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably there. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> We've got uh, a few people have joined us. So welcome, welcome. We're just waiting for Facebook to do something. Uh, comment moderation, I'd say. We um, just, uh... I know some people have joined us. I just can't see your comments. That's Let right. Me... Oh, here we go. Agatha's just commented. Oh, good. There we go. Okay. All right. Let me... Uh... We've got, we're doing it from the computer today. I don't know if you can notice. <laughs> hey, oh, we're doing it for the phone on Instagram. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, everyone. We've got a great topic lined up. So uh, a welcome. Welcome to our Facebook Live for this week on uh, Lee's Loving Life Now page. You're going to have to read the messages. And, of course, over, over, <laughs> over there on Instagram, give me a hello to you. We've got a great topic. And our topic for this evening is identify the stoppers. So you've got to identify the stoppers in your life. And we're going to talk about that and um, how you identify them and who are the stoppers? Uh, we've got lots of people joining us. Agatha says, hi, guys. Luan says, g'day. I can't see that Dee says, hi, so guys. I'm on that. You can read it over on Insta. Um, uh, Colette says, hello. Hello from Wollongong. Tara says, hi. Claire Perry, <laughs> hi to you. So what do you think of our new background Edith says, hi. for today? We're in Lee's office. Oh, this is where office. she works from. This is it. I don't know oh. if I like that background so much. <laughs> I don't know if I can just turn it a little bit. You know, we've got this. See, so we've got create, <laughs> inspire. And then you'll and cut off. But believe you can't see the believe we've got believe up above with i'm just going to attempt to show you guys so we've got believe create inspire yeah, and Lee's there, just so. um, sharing them over there on uh, instagram so um we thought oh let's mix it up let's uh do it from the computer and we'll do it in the office and see how we go from here so great great for you to be here um really pleased to be on um on live this evening yes. so we can talk about our great topic awesome yeah so you're going to kick us off yeah, well, first of all, just tell us, what do you what do you think? Is it coming for streaming okay? Because we're not doing it from our phone. I just want to make sure it's coming through clear. It's not glitching. It's a glitchy on our screen. Yeah, because it's glitching <laughs> over here. So we don't know if that's just a refresh thing on the computer. Um, let us know if we're coming through clear at your end. Uh, Georgina says, hey, guys. Uh, Claire says, kiss, kiss. <laughs> uh, let us know if you got us live. and um, Glitch we can, free. <laughs> not glitchy, so we can uh, continue on. Hello, over there. Hopefully we're all good. I just keep doing this over Not here. Not saying anything, so I presume so they're good. I'm wondering whether the message is, oh, that's why. Oh, I love the background. So it wasn't scrolled down Impeccable enough. timing for this topic, says Agatha. Um, what else we got? Hey, Hi, hey. Simon Lee, says Cindy. Um, Looks a bit got, slow from here. A bit slow from there. Mm. Okay, Tara says looking good. Maybe that's because Dee's so far up in North Queensland. It's going to take me a while to get up there. I don't know. Live and clear on uh, on Instagram. Awesome. That's awesome. But that's right. on the phone, so I'm just a bit concerned on the um, – so we right. well, we will uh, we'll run with them. Anyway. So all clear. It's not glitching at in anyone's and end over there. It says all clear. All right. Um, it's not that clear where I am. See, there's a few people said it's not clear. Okay. Um, so just wondering. Yeah, no, no. We we'll just, we'll just have to run okay. with it. All right. Peggy says all clear on her phone. Awesome. It's, it's just D in North Queensland. It's got no, the issue. No, there was somebody else there. had an issue. Uh, not sounds, 100% sounds clear. clear. Video not 100% clear, says Bernie. No, that's not good. Uh, see, that's the difference between doing it on a computer and doing it on your phone. Uh, Maybe that's not as clear as usual. I'm on laptop. Yeah, okay. We'll have to go back to phone next week. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, let's Bye. run with it anyway. So we thought we'd mix it up and uh, do it on the computer, but uh, maybe we maybe lips your lips are frozen. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, <it's... laughs> All right, so let's talk about the topic, and that is identifying <laughs> your stoppers. So in an ideal world, everyone is supportive. That would be wonderful. Everyone's supportive of everything so we wonderful. do. Everything we do, everything we choose to do, <laughs> if people are supportive um, in an ideal world, right? Yeah. But we don't live in an ideal world. So people hinder us, Lee, from going after our goals, our dreams, um, and they want to stop us. And sometimes they do that unintentionally. Yeah. They do it with the thought that they've got our best interest at heart. Mm -hmm. um, and they put obstacles in our way. Yeah. So what are some kind of, of those, terrorists. what are some of those things? What are some of the obstacles that they put in our way? <laughs> uh, well, negative comments. So they'll make negative comments towards, you know, some of the stuff that you're doing or that you like or, um, that they know will take you off the path. Totally. Negative comments. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, unsupportive action. So yep. they don't support you in the action that you're 
choosing to take. They're they're quite um, against it, or or just no, they're just not backing you. They haven't got your back. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, backstabbing. Yes, talking behind your back to other people. Talking behind saying your back. Saying how great you are to you and then going and talking to someone Can else. Can you and believe say, that oh they're going God. and doing that? <laughs> so these are identify. how we identify stoppers. So if you've got people in your life that are unsupportive, throwing negative comments at you, uh, backstabbing, uh, you don't always know they're backstabbing no. behind your back. Most of the time um, you identify. Passive-aggressive yeah. roadblocks and putting roadblocks in front of you mm-hmm. so they can be really passive-aggressive. Mm-hmm. And then just coming at you with, well, have you considered this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they, uh, they want to put a roadblock in front of you. <laughs> um, lack of faith. They've got a lack of faith in your judgment, your choosing, um, what it is that you're looking to achieve. Yeah. So they're a little bit in denial maybe. Maybe. Yeah, a little bit in denial. So these people <laughs> with those actions are called stoppers and we all have stoppers in our life. We need to make sure we're looking out at the camera too. Oh, yeah, I'm looking down at ourselves. <laughs> Hi up there. <laughs> so um, so we have stoppers in our life and it's about identifying these stoppers so that we can overcome them and we can continue to strive ahead. But also we've got to move away from our stoppers. But first of all, how can you move away from them? Uh, what are you going to do first? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do first? Uh, well, you've got to figure out who they are. You've got to <laughs> recognise right. them. <laughs> You need to know who the stoppers are so that you can recognise them and then say, you know what, these people are not serving me. They're not allowing me to move closer to my goals. They're not allowing me to move closer to where I want to go. They're not supportive. They're um, they're giving me a hard time, basically. And this look, this can be all sorts of people in your life, Lee. So who are yeah. they? Who are the stoppers in our lives? Um, well, the first biggest one could be yourself. Can be yourself, absolutely. Yeah, or the negative self-talk. Yeah. Um, family. Family. Family's a big one. Yeah. Now, hang on. We've got some comments going on over here. Um, in my world, I only listen to those that support what I do. As long as my support crew is behind me, I'm all good, says Peggy. <laughs> Tara says, I can honestly say I don't have anyone stopping me. Awesome. That's good. Once you've, once you've, once you've recognized them, you eliminate them. Um, I love your haircut, Lee, says Peggy. Oh, thanks, Peggy. You look gorgeous. Um, Jacinda <laughs> says, I walk away from stoppers. Bernie says, love my family, but... Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> that's true. Uh, yes, get rid of all that's not working for us, says D. Tara says, I'm my own stopper, though, my silly conversation. Though with my silly conversation. Sorry. I might have I read it correctly. Uh, Tony Gorman joined us. Hi, Tony. Uh, Nicole Hedlund, hi from the UK. G'day, Nicole. Hi from the UK. All good on the iPhone, says Nick. And uh, over there, have we got any comments over there about stoppers? Um, looking great, you too. Oh, we got. excellent. All right. <laughs> screen screen is uh, sharper on Instagram than yes. it is on Facebook, says Jeff. That's Thanks, Jeff. It's on the phone, so. All right. So, um, so you've got to recognise the stoppers. We're talking about who are the stoppers in our life. Lee, you mentioned family members. You mentioned yourself. Um, what about your spouse? Oh, yeah. What about me? Big stopper. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay, a supporter. I'm, you know what? No, you're a big stopper when it comes to shopping. <laughs> shopping. <laughs> when it comes to buying more dresses, I'm a stopper. <laughs> exactly. Sure, honey, you go buy whatever you want. Exactly. That's how we should go. <laughs> uh, so, so we can be each other's stoppers. Um, parents, we mentioned um, bosses. If you if you're working in a job, yeah. a traditional job, you can have a boss that's a stopper. Um, could be co-workers, people that you hang around, people that you're working with. Um, they can certainly be stoppers. Charlotte's just popped a comment in saying, I only share with those who have only got positive messages for me. Absolutely. Um, um, someone over here says, my mum is a stopper. Yeah, and then mom. someone else said, LOL. Yes, well, that, that's, that can be very true. Um, Tara <laughs> says, I'm my own stopper, though. Oh, they're silly conversations, but yes, I am. Um, I read that one out before. So um, co-workers we talked about. What about friends? Can yeah. friends be stoppers? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If they feel that you're going to go on a different path and maybe leave them behind. Yeah, totally. And we'll talk about that in a moment because mm-hmm. that's that comes up. Rivals, people that – rivals. In, people that are trying to pull you down and have, I suppose, beat you at something. Yeah, want yeah, to be, yeah. be in your spot. People who want to be better than you. Mm-hmm. So people that are rivaling mm-hmm. your uh, achievements, your mm-hmm. success, they want to be your stopper. So they can be your stopper because they want to win mm. at all costs. Mm-hmm. So what are we going to do? We'll take them out. Yeah, <laughs> do it. That's their attitude. <laughs> so 
in order to in order to get away from stoppers, what do Excuse we have to do? Me, we sorry. have to. We're live. Give me a nap. I'm yawning. <laughs> we have to. We have to break out of the herd. Um, the biggest stopper is your mindset. Your mindset, yeah. Your mindset is your stopper. But we're talking about stoppers outside of ourselves, and that's the important thing: is identifying who those stoppers are. So once you've identified, you've got to decide that you want to break out of the herd. Mm-hmm. So there's a great analogy about, you know, you can either be a cow or you can break out and be a rhino, right? Because a, a, rhino, a, rhino. a rhino just takes off and charges and <laughs> breaks away from any herd. So if you want to break out of the herd, become a rhino and right. you can break out of the herd. Okay. Okay. Now the other one is if you put a bucket full of crabs into, a, into this like a bucket, mm-hmm. let's say a twenty liter bucket. You fill it full of live crabs. Mm-hmm. What's what's the crabs going to try and do? So one tries to climb out, the other they're going to pull them back in. Yeah. So one tries to climb out of the bucket, and the others grab onto the other crab and try and pull it back in. Mm-hmm. So that's a great analogy in our life. They are stoppers to each other. Crabs. Yeah. Crabs mm-hmm. are stoppers. So you don't want to be in a herd of crabs. Are they called a herd? I don't know. I don't think what's so. A, what's, a, what's a group of crabs maybe, called? Maybe Somebody clan, tell me that. A clan? A clan? I don't know. Somebody Google it. <laughs> Ask Siri. It I don't know. Um, somebody somebody pop Google. in the chat. What's a, what's a group of crabs called? Google? Didn't recognise. Hey, Google. What's a group of crabs called? Not talking to us. On the website, oh, researchmaniacs.com, they say, the collective noun for crabs is the word you would use to describe a group of crabs. A group we of crabs? We have identified the following word that you could call a group of crabs. It's just group? Cast. A cast. I was close. Oh, I say clan. A, a cast of crabs. A cast of crabs. There you go. So Google told us we it's a cast of today. crabs. <laughs> um, Peggy says, don't be a crab. My old accountant was a stopper in my success. Absolutely. That's a good one. Ebony says, I just had a social media refresh and deleted people who are stoppers. Negative and all time, just bring your vibration down. It's not worth it. It's your own mental health. And I agree. That is absolutely awesome, Ebony. Um, you've certainly got to clear up some of the negative people around you. And sometimes when we break out, it says a cast. Dee's got a cast. Peggy's got a cast. We bet ya. <laughs> we come up with a cast as well. Lunch. All right. So, so I said lunch over lunch? here. Crabs are lunch. I'm, 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 I'm with crabs. you. <laughs> I'm with you, Maureen. I love that lunch. <laughs> All right. So to break out of the herd, so we're going to break out of the herd, and we're going to leave the crabs behind. Um, okay. And you know um, crabs. and a couple of things that have come up there is that everyone in our at all stages in our life, we're going to encounter stoppers. And everybody's just you know an example of social media. And sometimes we've got to take note of those people that are around us, whether it's our friends, whether it's loved ones, and we've really got to learn to love them from a distance mm-hmm. or just remove them totally. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we've got to remove those people from our life and just say, are they serving us? Yeah. Are yeah. They? No, no, they're not. No. So we've got to remove them. <laughs> All right. So um, once we've done that and, we've, and we're creating a, a new vision for ourselves and we've We've identified who the stoppers are. We know who they are. We've started to take action against them. And that can be small steps. It can be not hanging around them. It can be delisting them off, unfriending them off Facebook or or just uh, banning them so you don't see their posts. Mm-hmm. You know, you can actually still be their friends, um, but then you can actually hide their posts so you don't see negative posts. Yeah. If they're just uh, posting stuff that's negative or negative propaganda well, maybe or Maybe not even negative, just posts that are not your, like, not your style. Not your style. Like about stuff that you just really don't care about. You know, yeah. Too it doesn't have to be negative necessarily. True. All right. So what makes a difference for you is how much you allow the stoppers to affect you. Because mm-hmm. you can be at the effect, or you can be yep. a cause in your life. Yep. So if we're at cause, we're not going to really let the stoppers to derail us, are we? No. And you could use the stoppers' comments to edge you on more, right? To create, like, use it as okay. a driving factor. And we are going to address that next week. We've got a great topic to follow on from identifying the stoppers because what we're really talking about here is just identifying them. Who are they? Mm-hmm. How, do we, uh, how do we deal with those stoppers and how do we best manage stoppers in our life and what do we do to change that? Mm-hmm. So that's, that's the most important thing. Now, why are the stoppers bad for us, Lee? They create toxic relationships. Yeah. It's toxic. It's not good for you. No. At all. 
Um, what else? We gi- we give them power, so we give away our own power yeah, to totally. the stoppers, and we uh, allow them to have the power and influence. Mm-hmm. Is that good? No. Why not? Because then you've got no power. Then you're not going to be able to have the confidence and the the drive to move forward. Yep. Confidence drive. I'm flicking my nails here. And they can see you on Instagram. (laughs) No, it's only when I do it over here. No, no. At least like stop. So this. They can see me on Instagram keep doing this. It's like. Your hand was like right on the edge, and they. Go I just, I just do this thing. I, just, I don't know. It's like, it's like shaking your leg, right? You, you, if you, <laughs> you've got some something going on. I like to talk with my hands or flick or anyway. Yeah. Maybe moving on. To no the more stoppers. doing that. All right. So we, the emotional I'm state. You. Um, <laughs> you're being my stopper. I decided to stay away as it just pulls me down the hole. Yep, you can fall down a rabbit hole. Um, stoppers can uh, affect your emotional state, your personal progress. They can affect your dreams. They can affect your 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 nature. What what is it? Who are you being? You know your your own personal nature. So if you're being affected by the stoppers, that can really affect your nature and who you're being. Um, D says they hijack our happiness if you let them. Absolutely, they can hijack our happiness. Yeah. So we've identified the stoppers. We're looking at ways that we need to. Who are they? How do they affect us? <coughs> what uh, what are they doing to us in our lives? Now, can you make a commitment to yourself to let the stoppers you encounter hinder your progress? Not to. So you don't want to let them hinder your progress. So as you um, identify these stoppers and you're coming across them, take a moment just to, what, reflect? Think Um, about the situation. What's the word I'm looking for? Assess. Assess the situation. Mm -hmm. And then think, how do I handle this? Yeah. Do I... Do, do I run them off? <laughs> do I <laughs> do I beat them up? Do I run? Um, do, do I tell I, them what I think? <laughs> <laughs> do I attack them <laughs> physically? Um, all right. So you could do all those things, or you could do none of those things. Yeah, but don't physically attack them. No, no, no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Pause. Uh, wouldn't, D says pause. 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 You can pause absolutely, but it's important to understand that we all have a tendency to be stoppers at some point in life. We can be our own stopper. We can be the stopper of others. We can be um, just general stoppers in other people's lives. Mm. And sometimes we don't really realise that we're doing it. No. Um, And we've got to have an awareness. So one of the other things that's important about identifying the stoppers is actually creating awareness around it. So you're aware that you're now a stopper of me buying dresses, right? (laughs) (laughs) Who agrees? (laughs) I'm sure you'll get lots of agreement. (laughs) What does Nick say? Nick says, mine never matter. I don't mind because uh, because they don't matter. That's right. I love that saying. Um, Luan says, so how do you deal with the stoppers water off a duck's back? Um, Water off a duck's back, question mark, right? You asking? So how do you deal with the stoppers? Yeah, look, I... um, that's an interesting one, and I'll share that in a moment. Peggy says, we just need to let the stoppers bounce off us and not care about their comments, ignore them and delete them. Um, they hijack our happiness, saw that one. And uh, Richard says, surround yourself with positive people and keep your distance from negative inputs. Social distancing. Yeah, well, I think uh, <laughs> when I when I um, uh, changed careers, I had a lot of stoppers in my life, and I really did um, take stock of those people and just remove them. I just distanced myself from them. And I found a new a new tribe, a new range of people that uh, were on the same purpose as what I was and chose to surround myself with people that were more uh, on purpose, positive, uh, mm-hmm. looking to create success, people that were happy, people that were, <coughs> bless you, uh, people, <laughs> people that were looking for more in life. They were looking to Excuse take me. their life to the next level. We're uh, live. <laughs> we are. So... I guess that's that's how I've dealt with them, and then I've just you slowly move away from them, and they don't they don't come after you most of the time. No, they don't. <laughs> Stop us once you leave them. You just find the find some, the some tribe. Of them might linger for a bit. Find the tribe that you belong to and work with that tribe. Look, there's your book up behind us. Oh yeah. Who yes, has, who, let me ask a question. Who I'm going to point the right way. Who hasn't uh, read my book? There it is, over okay. beside my shoulder. Up there. No, it's not near my ear. <laughs> so if you, if you haven't read my book yet, go to leannebartlett.com and uh, grab your online version or your physical version. That's right. What's cool? Loving Life Now. Loving Life Now. And when's the next one coming out? Soon. <laughs> What's that called? Lifestyle Love and Beyond. <laughs> there you go. So stay tuned. Hmm.
put a task on it now. Um, Nick says, bless you. D says, bless you. <laughs> I missed that. Sorry. Um, Nick, Nicole says, this is so true. I learned recently to look at the situation for what it is and take away the story. Helps to break down old patterns of thinking and move forward towards your goals and experience more joy in your life. Totally agree. Oh, there's some comments I missed over here. On Instagram. Um, so I decided, and I so if someone put a knife in your neck, then of course, I don't know, maybe that means like, um, people who are positive and caring, happy. Absolutely. Now, <laughs> to identify your stoppers, you can write it down, journal them, make a list of who they are in order of influence in your life. So look for the positive people. That's one way of identifying the stoppers is to actually look for the people that are influencing in your life and go through each area of your life and look at those areas and ask yourself, who are the stoppers in this area of my life? In my relationship, in my fitness, in my health, or well, your health's gotta be yourself, fitness gotta be yourself first. Um, and how are you being influenced by others? So what other people are influencing you in your life? Bernie says, brilliant read, must get it. I love it. What is that? Oh, I love that. Ada says, I love that comment. Uh, brilliant read, must get. Please stay home, stay safe. We are doing that, that's for sure. And Laura over here says, I didn't know you wrote a book. I'll check it out. Awesome. So uh, loving life now. It's on Amazon too, so you can it's just go Amazon. to Amazon and type in Loving Life Now and it should come up. I can go to your Facebook page, Loving Life Now, yeah. where we are tonight. You'll find uh, the book advertised on there. It's usually posted on Tuesday, so it'll be there today, actually. There'll be a post from today if you okay. the link. So check that out um, on Loving Life Now Facebook page. You'll find Lee's book and you can um, pick it up on Amazon. Where else? It was, uh, it was bestseller in 90 minutes in Australia and Canada. And wasn't it on Dimix? Was it Dimix that had it as well? It's on Dimix, but yep. it's expensive there, so don't go there. Don't go there? Amazon. Go to Amazon. Hi there. <laughs> All right. So um, so now we've identified the stoppers. Make a list. Look at the areas of your life. Who are the stoppers in that area? Identify them and then look at how you can move away from them. How do I distance myself from the stoppers in my life? And what do you need? To, who do you need to bring closer? In, uh, closer to you. Who do you need to bring closer oh, to you? The life? people that aren't stopping you. That's right. I'm thinking, what about There's me? There's a lot of people. <laughs> Just me. Bring me closer to you. Oh, okay. Life. Here you go. <laughs> That's right. So you've got to bring the people closer to you in yes. your life that are serving you. Yes. That are, that are holding you to a higher standard. That's really important because people that are, are, are not stoppers, people that are holding you to a higher standard are challenging you and want you to achieve greater. Yeah, they want to yes. achieve greatness. So they're holding you to a higher standard. People that are holding you accountable to what you say you're going to do, they are definitely not stoppers. They are people that you want to surround yourself with. There's a couple more comments. There is. Um, Gail, Gail says, hi, guys. Have you have been watching through uh, your other, other Facebook channel? Don't uh, think you can see our comments there. No, no, I can't, Gail. Sorry, Gail. Um, thank Thanks you. For uh, us. When we share it across the other pages, we don't see the comments on the other pages. How do you deal with the ones? We spoke about that. Uh, Georgina Chan said it's a great book. I have it on Kindle. Excellent. Awesome. Uh, Nick says like-minded people, surround yourself with those. Colette says find your supporters. And, yes, your supporters is a big and thing. Maureen says thanks, guys. I so needed this tonight. Awesome. And, look, like we said, stoppers are everywhere around us. It's about identifying them, um, making a plan to uh, surround yourself with people that are not, in, not stoppers. And, of course, when we say that, Behind me, we've got create and inspire. Believe, create, inspire. Yeah, believes above if it. We, if we do yeah, this. We do that. Oh, look there. See, now we've got believe. <laughs> should have done that from the start. Probably should have. <laughs> believe, create, and inspire. And there I've actually go. got a tattoo on my back that says that too. Do. And let's just, we'll just angle that. You can see Lee's book over there behind my head on the other way there. Over there. Oh, oh, that one. I don't know which way I'm going. <laughs> Um, so that's our topic for this evening. And uh, so, one other thing I want to share. Yes. So, be a supporter and come and hang out on TikTok with me. I'm doing 100 days of gratitude. I'm up to day 10 tomorrow. It is 100 days of gratitude. Yeah, it might be day nine. I can't remember. Anyway, um, come join me. Come and have fun. It's uh, good fun. You can check out all my quirky fun videos. I actually posted one tonight of Simon and I. Did you? Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I better go check it out. <laughs> it's the only one he's in. <laughs> <laughs> um, so go check it out, and uh, it's a cool, it's a cool app, and it's actually there's quite a for those of you who think, oh my god, it's all the youngins. It's actually there's quite a few people over thirty on there. So, but there's a plan. There is a plan. There's a plan. 
anyway, and I'm just there to have fun. A bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so that's it. So, uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for everyone for uh, for coming along and hanging out with us for um, this topic on um, identifying your stoppers. And of course, we're going to follow this up one next week. And next week's topic is going to follow on from this. Mm -hmm. So now we know we've identified them, we're going to be talking more about stoppers. Awesome. So join us next week, um, be the same time, same channel. Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. We'll be going live on Facebook. We'll do it on our phone maybe next week. Yeah. Um, get the better picture. Because it looks like when we've shared it, they, people are commenting thinking it's live on the other pages. Yeah. We don't see it. So we'll go back to doing our phone next week so that it's nice and clear and we get all your messages. Absolutely. But we love you and thanks for being here and thanks for joining us over on Instagram. Thanks, guys. Mwah and Have a great mwah. evening. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm in charge of turning you. You are in charge. Okay, bye. <laughs>